Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're just going to do kind of a recap of some of the information that they've put out because they've put out quite a bit of information in the last couple of weeks on the new reserve that's coming, Aguas Claris, that's in Spain. And if you haven't been around to see all the different updates that have come out, you know, whether it's, you know, on the developer diaries or in the patch notes or on their live streams, I'm going to try to cover some of the big stuff here and just kind of give you a quick update because... They're close to giving us a release date. They said the release date is very soon, and they're going to tell us at least sometime soon they're going to give us, you know, a release. So I'm kind of wanting to just give you guys, you know, another informational update here. First thing I want to start with is some patch notes they released when they released the trailer for the new map. So you can't wishlist it if uh, you want to wishlist it. Uh, you go do that, and you come down here in the update for the patch 1.40. Now, I'm assuming this is the patch that's going to drop with the map. So, when the I don't know for certain, but I assume the next patch is coming with the next update, you know, which is going to be the new map. Now, that's something that Jaxley did say, that the new map is coming with the next patch. So, we've, I'm pretty certain it's going to be the same thing. So, um, if you look here you know they cover a couple things here that i want to want to look at the trophy shot we saw that if you have it not in today's tackle box stream but last week's tackle box stream with jaxie uh and uh ew he uh showed off the new trophy screen and all the different stuff you can do with it and it looks really cool um the next thing this one is this one is interesting because in today's tackle box stream you got to see it the 4x4 tune-up says, just in time for Spain's steep and hilly topography, you can expect a bit more torque, better power, better power bandings, I should say, and more grip to meet the needs of the train. Now, that's really interesting. Um, I'm very, very interested in seeing what the new Jeeps look like because, as you all know, driving the Jeeps right now can be difficult at best and Comically hilarious <laughs> sometimes and uh, incredibly dangerous. So I'm really interested to see what they're going to do with the 4x4 tune up here and how the Jeeps handle. It looked pretty good um, on today's Tackle Box stream, uh, which is the EW official angler stream. Um, go check that out. Today was an awesome one. They actually had been on uh, one of the developers and uh, it was really cool to see some of the stuff that they did there. And I'll cover that a little bit here in a minute. Uh, the other thing is the nose drive. Uh, when the rod gets pulled downward after you catch a fish, they're fixing that, which is something that a lot of people brought up. Um, of course, I noticed it. It's just not something that really did too much to hinder the my enjoyment. Uh, but I definitely understand why for some people it's like it's annoying, I guess. But um, that is going to be fixed. If that if you are one of the people that find that annoying, that will be fixed. Um, and then the next one, Norway, Jose. This achievement will now correctly unlock after finding the collectibles in the Troll Sport Nature Reserve. So those are some of the things that are coming up. And they've got this here too, Community Event and Activity Fisher Dare. Uh, are you looking for fun ways to engage with your fans and get rewards to share with your community? We've teamed up with our friends at Dare Drop once again to create a fun campaign filled with activities. More information about this when Dare Drop events kick off. When Dare Drop event kicks off will be revealed soon. Uh, interesting. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to hear more about that. Um, and then they talk more about the tackle box stream there. So, um, those are some of the updates that are coming in the next patch. I just wanted to cover those. Uh, but some of the three things that I want to highlight from the last update that we got in the last EW tackle box stream is the 11 new species, which are highlighted, in my opinion, by the different carp species the common carp, mirror carp, and crucian carp. And then the European eel look really cool. Um, though, if you haven't seen that, go back to um, I've got a video from last week that talks about it. But it, go back to last week's tackle box stream um, on the EW official channel, and Jack actually shows off all this, the fish species and really cool there. But then also a reminder that bottom fishing is coming later. Uh, we're not sure when. I think uh, they said by the end of the year, if I remember correctly. So. Um, keep an eye out for that so bottom fishing and in, in today's 
tackle box stream with Ben, you know, they they talked about um, how bottom fishing is going to be really, you know, it's going to help a lot with a lot of the fish on uh, the Spain Reserve because a lot of the fish, uh, it seems, are fish that you would use like on a float setup. So definitely interesting and exciting to think about how bottom fishing could affect that for sure. Um, and then there's a couple of things, a couple of notes that I wanted to touch on for the um, kind of new information that we got this week in today's Tackle Box stream. And number one, that oh, the first thing that I want to cover is they have like a there. There's like a photo challenge uh, mission variety, and there's a really cool way that they kind of like gussied it up or cleaned it up a little bit. It looks kind of cool where you can kind of tells you where to stand, and then you look at the um, actual. Let me see if I can find a picture of something here. No, nothing great. But you would look at, let's just say, like, that's if that's a photo challenge mission or something, you would look at this and then it would have you take a picture. It just looks really cool the way that they uh, did that. I like that. I, that really stood out to me. Uh, the other thing is just the just the terrain on the map it looks really cool. Um, and like, this whole aesthetic looks awesome. And then you go around, going around the map, it's just so dramatic. I really encourage you to go to the Tackle Box stream and check that out just to see the landscapes just fishing there it's a completely different feel than the other two maps and it's awesome you know i was kind of along the lines of you know it's you know i, w I don't want any before you know spain was revealed i was like i want something but there's no mountains because we already have mountains now there's mountains here and they look awesome but it is like a more it's a warmer environment so i know this winter when it's gonna be really cold and snowing here I'm going to be no life in this map trying to soak up the Spanish digital sun. So that's what I'm going to be uh, going to be doing this winter for sure. Because it's it just, it is a really cool map. It, it's a lot different than what we have already for sure. Um, and that, that's both in, you know, the, uh, apparently the, the float fishing mostly is what it sounds like. Is just a new, a new focus on that, which is different than what we have. Plus the aesthetics. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the other thing that looked really cool, so uh, Ben, one of the developers, highlighted this in, I don't know about highlight, but mentioned this in the uh, uh, stream today, that on Norway, apparently there was a huge call for the ability to fish in the cave system in Norway. So this time around, they have a cave system, and you can actually fish in it, and Jaxi took us through it. And it looks so freaking cool. There's like stalactites and stalagmites, and in there's uh, tons of different fish in there. Apparently, um, it looked really cool, and uh, I think I think there's probably gonna be some good stuff in those caves. Because I mean, Ben said also said that it was actually surprisingly difficult to put. Um, you know, water in those caves that you could actually fish out of. Um, and he said it was more difficult than you'd actually think. So I, I don't imagine, I just thinking about the humanistic aspect of it, you know, I can't imagine that they would spend all that time and effort to be able to fish in the caves and then not put something good in there. You know, you gotta be able to find something good in there. So, uh, that's definitely when the map releases something I'm going to be hitting hard for sure. Um, but the cave system looks super cool. Again, go back to the tackle box stream today with Jaxie and Ben to see it. It looks sick. Um, another little feature they added in here um, is you can now whenever you get one of those little collectible items or you find like a little cash item or whatever it is, um, instead of reading the handbook entry, because you know all those things have a little description, you can listen to it now. So it gives you the option to listen to it so you can pick it up and you hit a button and it it will read it off to you the handbook entry as you're walking away so you don't actually have to read about it, like stop and read it you can keep going to your next fishing destination or whatever which i thought was really cool i like that a lot um and I, the final thing from today's stream that i really thought was super fun and i think is gonna get a lot of people excited i know one person in particular that's gonna get really excited about this is Ben did confirm that there are hidden hints in the collectible items or the different items, maybe mission items, um, for 
future content. He was very specific in saying it was future content. Don't know what it is. Um, it, you know, if it's a map or different content. But there are hints. Little Easter eggs hidden in the descriptions or other parts of the missions or uh, the collectibles or whatever you have. Whatever you have it. So when, it, when this does drop... Go look for that because there are hints in there. Ben did confirm little Easter eggs that we can all speculate about. So I thought that was really cool. But that's really some of the biggest things that I want to recap. I'll get you guys um, up to speed if you haven't been following along um, with some of the news that we've got going on here with the angler. So again, you know, if whether it's through Steam or their angler official website or YouTube or their social media, they have all these updates available, so you can go read it all for yourself and see if I, you know, if there's anything I miss. I know there's a lot of stuff I actually didn't cover, uh, but you can go check that out for yourself there. So, um, it's it's on the way soon. We're getting it soon, they said, and you know my speculation. They said they said the new map is coming with the next patch, right? And in the next patch, they said there's going to be Halloween stuff. But there's a Halloween event in the next patch, and the map's coming in the next patch. And it's October 25th today, and Halloween's October 31st. We got to be getting this map soon. It's got to be here soon. And they said, they said soon, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, soon, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. So, but no official release date. No official release date. But it's got to be here soon, so that's exciting. Uh, hopefully in the next day or so, we'll actually have a release date, and we'll be able to get excited about that. So, all right. Thank you, everybody. I will see you guys later, and I'll catch you in the next video. See, I remember the, I remember the, the catchphrase.